Hello, this is Jeffrey Fox again, and in this lesson, we're going to discuss MapReduce. Uh, in the following lesson, we'll give a, a simplified uh, example of the use of MapReduce in Python to look at the k-means problem. Uh, we will also have available a Java version of that as well. As always, we're running clouds. The data analytics, processing big data, solving problems in X informatics. And MapReduce is the technology used on clouds to run the data analytics. It's a basic, it's either so called cyber infrastructure or just uh, runtime, sometimes called in the cloud world platform as a service. And it's going to, can be used in all these different cases. We, of course, will only do a few in this class. All right, MapReduce. MapReduce was invented by Jeffrey Dean and um, has been a really a remarkable success. And it was originally developed uh, for the commercial applications of clouds, in particular information retrieval. But it's getting used in, they say, the recommender systems and the other types of applications we've done. And it's basically designed to have data stored on disk, and that data is processed in some fashion to give output. And what was noted was that the, the important applications of this type could be formulated as this picture shows. Namely, there is going to be the data at the top is the so-called data partitions, means that um, Every um, point in the data lives on disk, and that disk is in the traditional cloud architecture attached to a computer. And each computer has part of the data, that's what it means by partitioning. The foundation of parallel computing, as we discuss in another lesson group, is typically done by dividing the data up. And you get parallelism from different data parts. So this um, concept of data partitioning is not unique to MapReduce. It is a uni sort of universal principle of parallel computing. What's different about MapReduce, it's aimed for data as opposed to simulations. Often in parallel computing, it's not the actual observational data. It's the data generated by the application, such as the mesh points, which are divided up. Anyway, we take this data, chop it up. And then these little green things here are computers or processes within computers. And they are executing the so-called map function. And maps do what you'd expect them to do. They map or transform the data. And the data is in the original formulation of MapReduce, data always has the form of key followed by value. And um, key um, is, this is a traditional, simple, semantic way of specifying data. And <clears throat> after each of those map functions executes, it gets an answer. And that answer needs to somehow be joined together to give the final answer. For example, if we were doing information retrieval, the, we might have stored in our data the world's um, processed um, web pages. We have a, some query of whatever complexity it is. Each map is running the uh, uh, operation. Please see if this query um, gives any uh, positive answers on the data stored in the data partition. And also, probably in, in a modern uh, information retrieval system, please tell me what the ranking of that data is. And or some raw data to design the ranking. And then each of the uh, map um, functions or map processes gets a result. And, but the user does not want uh, lots of different results, each from a different computer. It wants one result. And the purpose of the reduced task is to take these multiple answers and join them together in whatever way is appropriate. And there's a different way in each um, application. For the information retrieval, it will combine the data 
in a fashion that sorts it automatically in terms of some ranking and presents a single list to the user. And MapReduce um, has a very famous implementation called Hadoop, which is an open source Apache system coming originally from Yahoo. Remember, it was Google who actually developed the original MapReduce, but the open source version comes from their uh, competitor, uh, Yahoo. So these implementations, um, especially Hadoop, support splitting the data. Taking the data, giving it to map functions, taking the map functions and giving them to the reduce function, um, taking the uh, input to the reduce functions, sorting them, and also has various quality of service to get the answer in a good time. Because if this was information retrieval, the user wants the answer in a tenth, tenth of a second or so. On this slide here, we give an example coming from uh, Judy Chu and uh, Celia, uh, one of our students, which explains um, MapReduce in simple terms. And it also introduces the concept of parallelism for, for the problem. And the process where the map we're doing is we're mapping fruit into drinks. So that's clearly a map. And the reduction will be uh, that the fruit ends up in either bottles or glasses, because that's uh, the form we want the uh, final result. So if we just have one apple, we um, first map the apple by cutting it into parts. Then we map the apple by putting it in a, in a blender. And then the blender puts it in a, a glass. So that is the sequential. Uh, version of this particular problem. Now, uh, we were pretty thirsty, so we decide to have a parallel version. And Sam also wants to get these drinks for his friends, not just for himself. So, we have um, parallel fruit delivery. Actually, originally we start off this parallelism by growing the fruit on multiple trees. Then we put them in multiple trucks and carry the fruit to some uh, um, um, some unit that actually makes the drinks. So we have the fruits, we have multiple baskets of fruits, and um, the uh, value of the, uh, of the key is the type of fruit, and the value is the uh, particular fruit, so the particular apple or orange or pineapple. And then we, the first map, is a slicing operation which converts the um, um, apples into a slightly different uh, key. And we sliced apple, sliced orange, and sliced pineapple. And that's uh, shown uh, here. Here's the, here's the map from the apples, and oranges, and pineapples to the slices. Then we group them together by the key, where the key is A prime, O prime, P prime, the sliced fruit. And then we deliver them to a um, blender, which um, because we want to have some control over the taste, we blend each of the fruits separately. And so that's where we have these um, reduced functions here. Um, <coughs> and actually, we could uh, make here mixtures, namely we might have one blender that's doing a mix of um, Apples and oranges, apples and oranges and pineapples, pineapples and apples. So that will depend on actually what uh, our business model is as to how we do that mapping. Anyway, that's the reduction operation. And this is the essential idea of MapReduce, that we keep mapping key value pairs into different key value pairs. And then we produce it to a list of values. And actually, MapReduce will end up not necessarily having this uh, reliance on the key value concept. But this illustrates reasonably well the essential ideas. <coughs>